Welcome to a subplot short. Folks, new subplot is available with my incredible guests today, Gregory Vines and Henry Phillips, who made the awesome films Punching the Clown and Punching Henry. I've known Henry for a long time, and him making his movie was a big inspiration to me to make my film. Uh, so we go through and talk about all the ups and downs and craziness of making a film. Uh, what follows in this short right now is us specifically talking about them finding out that they won the Slam Dance Audience Award and then not getting any distribution offers, which is pretty rare. <laughs> so <laughs> enjoy, and thanks for watching. Win a oh, because you guys won the audience award. Yeah, we did. At Slam yeah. Dance as well. And so we yeah. won the audience award. Huge. Yeah. And uh, we had uh, good reviews. You know. Yeah. Uh, nobody, nobody bought it. Right. Nobody. I think uh, we, we were had... the first in their history to win the audience award and not sell. <laughs> yeah. I think that Possible. Yeah. We hold the record. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, and it not was the last yeah. Not yeah, the yeah, last. yeah. Well, it started a whole trend. <laughs> yeah. It was 2009, so like the, the economy right just, the just crashed. Yeah. Just crashed. Oh. And so like that's half that, the attendance yeah. for the whole festival. Yeah, yeah. it's ridiculous. But terrible luck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was bad. But uh, you know, then ultimately uh, we self distributed it. You know? Right. Uh, and so I, I four walled it in New York City in 2010 at the um, at, at a uh, the uh, four what's it called. Uh, Fourplex uh, cinema in the, in the village. Um, oh yeah, so that's an interesting story too. So like, it was literally after all the festivals and everything, there was no bites from any of the distributors. It was literally dead, dead in the water. And then um, he got a spam email <laughs> that's that nowadays would probably just go right to your spam. But it was like, <laughs> don't let your independent film die. You know, show it for a week at the quad cinema. We yeah. will. <laughs> promise you know for for you know this amount of money or whatever um and uh greg was just like and this is this is uh, one of these things where you could look at it like maybe it's a scam or whatever but right. we were so desperate um but we did it and it's the best thing we could have ever done we did a full week-long run at the squad cinemas there uh -huh. And uh, in exchange for a fee, they give you the door money and also um, promise to get you in the New York Times and uh, Which New York is huge. Post and all yeah. these other things. Yeah. And so we did a full run, and then it was fantastic because the word of mouth just took off like crazy. And the comics, you know, Sarah Silverman did a tweet because she had been to one of the screenings here uh -huh. and said, this is the best movie about comedy that I've seen so far. And all these comics in New York went out and went to the theater. Like, it's imagine important. that. They actually show up to the theater <laughs> wow. and watch it. Yeah. And paid and everything. And then I wound up going over there and doing a bunch of podcasts and greeting everybody. And then uh, shortly after that, we got uh, a distributor for the physical DVD. And then uh, the guy the put it on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the actual. Uh, What's that? Physical uh, yeah. packaging. Yeah. And, and, then, and then, yeah, then a different. Distributor, not really a distributor in the sense, not somebody who buys your, your film, right. but a middleman who gets you onto Netflix and gets you, you know. Right. Yeah. It, yeah. I mean, it's just so interesting because for those of you out there trying to make a film or do anything, it's just the emotional kind of roller coaster that you oh, go man. through that I'm sure, and we'll get to the, the new movie soon, I'm sure it continues to this day, you know, where it's just like, it's kind oh, of yeah. never ending in terms of like the ups and the, you win the audience award and then it's like oh, no. Nobody no, cares. Distrib no yeah. distribution and then it's like but now we got this amazing screening in New yeah. York and we got the New York Times review and then it's and like then we're back down. But, yeah yeah and yeah. so I mean I, like what are there any kind of tricks or, or anything that you guys do to kind of just stay sane through those ups and down processes I would just go back to Chile <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think you just gotta uh, you gotta also have uh, your personal life and also uh, your future projects you yeah know? yeah. keep your eye you know Greg and I are already, already starting to work on our next project you know right and it's like um, as long as you're keeping creative then you don't feel uh, you know completely defeated after something like that happens you know right um the, not only did we have the problem with you know not getting the distributor but it was also like Netflix used to buy directly from the filmmakers right and then this is in the early days when they decided that that was a policy they were never going to do that again. that was for the first film yeah, yeah the first, and, they, they and so to go through a, we right. have to get a, a distributor which is basically a guy with a business card that says I'm a distributor and <laughs> just give him literally half the money yeah. right and it's like well well shit we just spent years of our life making this movie and money right 
and you're getting half of it just because you know a guy over there that you can, you know, so, you know, it's... There's so we should go into the distribution game. I, think I guess so. Let's We're start it. Yeah. Business, so yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the subplot wherever you listen to podcasts. And also on YouTube, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, all those things, slash Jesse Shapiro. Hope you have a great day.